Hello students, welcome to our class and start our learning with Let's Learn. And our today's topic, Space Mission from Chapter 10. And today we will discuss on these three topics, Space Mission, Need and Importance of Space Mission and Artificial Satellite. So do you know students, man has al always been curious about unknown places. And he has always been eager to expand the horizon of his knowledge by exploring the unknown world. He must have had deep curiosity about the space and the many twinkling stars in the dark sky. So let me let we know what is the difference between sky and space. The sky is everything that lies above the surface of the earth, including the atmosphere and the other space. In the field of astronomy, the sky is also called the celestial sphere. We can also say in another way, the sky is the region in which sunlight is scattered in the earth's atmosphere, making it visible from the surface of planet. And what is a space? Space is everything be beyond that. The continuous empty space between the sphere in the sky is called space. Or we can say in another way, the area outside the earth is the space. In space, there are various celestial objects like planets, stars, etc. Then we will discuss on the what is satellite and the different types of satellite here. So, do you know what is satellite? So, satellite, the word satellite refers to a machine that is launched into a space and move around the earth or another body in the space. Again, I repeat it. What is satellite? Satellite refers to a machine that is launched into the space and move around the earth or another body in the sky in the space. Clear? Here two types of satellites, natural and artificial. So what is a natural satellite? Natural satellite is any celestial body in the space that orbits around a larger body. Example, moon. Moon is called a natural satellite because they orbit planets. Clear? So again, natural satellite. Natural satellite is any celestial body in a space that are orbit around a larger body. Clear? Then what is a artificial satellite? So artificial satellites are human built objects. These are human built objects orbiting the earth and the other planets in the solar system. This is different from the natural satellites or moons that orbit planet, dwarf planet and even asteroids. Clear students? So here uh, we studied the two types of satellites, natural and artificial. Moon is a example of natural satellite. Then think about it students. Uh, let now answer a few more questions. We all make use the cell phones nowadays. The cell phone made our life simpler. So, where does the signal in your cell phone come from? Where from does it come to the mobile tower? Where does the signal to our TV set come from? You may have seen photographs showing the position of the monsoon clouds over the country in the newspaper. How are these images obtained? These are th three questions and think about it. Yes. So students, this is because of the artificial satellite. We can contact a person in any part of the world within a second. We can gather information about worldwide events sitting at home. You also know the importance of the internet. 
due to internet every information is available at your finger street at your fingertips it has become possible to get advance alert about the natu natural calamities and take proper precautions during wars it is possible to get information about the actions of the enemies through the aerial um, surveillance using the satellites it is also possible to explore the fossil re uh, reserves and minerals in the earth thus there are unlimited applications of the space mission today space technology is an inevitable part of the development of a nation so these these question the answer of these questions is a satellite artificial satellite okay so because of the artificial satellite these are possible these things are possible to get information about the world wide okay uh, to communicate the person then uh, use the internet and so on so uh, what is the uh, uh, use of uh, artificial satellite student so a natural satellite what is the artificial satellite um here the natural satellite is an uh, astronomical objects orbiting the earth or any other planet moon is the example of the artificial satellite okay so similarly the artificial natural satellites the uh, if a man made object if a man made object revolve around the earth or other planet in a fixed orbit it is called the artificial satellite okay natural satellite means natural satellite is an astronomical objects that orbiting the earth or any other planet but what is a artificial satellite this is a man made object man made object that revolve around the earth or other planet in a fixed orbit is called the artificial satellite clear then Uh, some important information of a sputnik what is a sputnik student the first artificial satellite sputnik was sent to space by soviet union in 1957 today more than 1000 satellites are orbiting the earth the satellites work on a solar energy so solar photovoltaic panels are attached on the both side of these satellites like wings instruments are installed in the satellite to receive as well as transmit the signal these artificial satellite receive the signal from the earth and also transmit to the earth clear now at last you have to uh, give uh, the answer of this question what is the difference between natural satellite and artificial satellite so students this was today's lecture i hope you understood all the terms in this lecture i explained uh, difference between sky and uh, space what is the sky what is the space then uh, what is our satellite then types of the satellites natural and artificial definition of natural satellite and example and definition of artificial satellite and one example clear and at last uh, i have given one question for you so write down this question in your notebook and also answer this the question so i hope you understood if you have any doubt you can message me and rest part of this lesson i will explain in a next lecture so till the time thank you very much goodbye